All right, a short one on respiration photosynthesis. It's a common thing to be asked about both of them at once, particularly in questions uh, when plants come up, and it's quite a tricky area, so we'll try and summarise this. Um, aerobic respiration, I'll just put the familiar formula in. Oops. By the way, it doesn't matter which way around you put this. If you put oxygen and uh, the glucose either way around, it doesn't matter as long as they're both on the same side. And the same on the other side here, I'll just put that, that's glucose just so we know. Um, so that's, that's re uh, aerobic respiration. And photosynthesis, which if you remember is, is really, appears to be the uh, opposite uh, oops, formula. Even though the two processes aren't the, the reverse of each other. Uh, put in light and chlorophyll, let's do it properly. There we go. Um, it, it's the reverse formula, although the processes are actually chemically different, but it, it's easy to remember, I suppose, if you think of it that way. Now, the problem comes, I think, when people see questions on plants, the first thing they think about, oh, it must be a photosynthesis question. And they forget that plants are also respiring. Remember, respiration, aerobic respiration, is the release of energy from food or from a, a substrate like glucose. So it's maybe useful to compare the two things here. So in photosynthesis, um, we use or re we require carbon dioxide, and the waste products is oxygen. In respiration, aerobic respiration, I should put, we need oxygen and we release carbon dioxide as a waste product. So we've got these two things on the go. Now the problem is that these two chemical processes don't always balance each other out. For example, respiration will be occurring all the time. Because bear in mind that it's um, an enzyme controlled reaction so we have to consider things like temperature, but the leaf will constantly be respiring. It doesn't matter if it's day, night, it will always be respiring. So it will always be producing CO2 and it will always be using up oxygen. Now photosynthesis, the rate of photosynthesis, remember rate means how quickly something happens in a certain amount of time, the rate of photosynthesis will change. And it will de change depending on um, those limiting factors which are light, temperature uh, and carbon dioxide availability. So if you think of a plant in the morning when the sun has just come up, it will be respiring, it will be photosynthesizing but not very much because there won't be much light and perhaps it's also too cold, depends on the cost of time of year. As the sun continues to rise we'll get more light and so the rate of photosynthesis will increase. So we'll start using up more carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. At some point photosynthesis and respiration some point in the morning the amount of oxygen used will equal the amount of oxygen given out in photosynthesis and the amount of carbon dioxide used in photosynthesis will equal the amount of carbon dioxide given out as a waste product in aerobic respiration that point is called the compensation point but you must if you get a question on this put both of these processes down. It's no good saying things like it increases or it uses more. You've got to say photosynthesis, you've got to say aerobic respiration because these two things are on the go at the same time. As the day continues and you get more light, and perhaps it warms up, photosynthesis will tend to increase its rate. So there is more carbon dioxide being used up than is being produced inside the plant doesn't matter, so this carbon dioxide will diffuse in from outside the leaf and it will be producing more oxygen than it uses up. As the day continues, it starts to the, the sun starts to go down, the rate will go down again because there's less light, perhaps it's getting colder, until eventually the rate of photosynthesis drops below the rate of respiration. But these two things are running at the same time and you must not forget that they're both going on. So if you get a question about for example, the amount of carbon dioxide, just be aware that yes, it's been used in photosynthesis, but it's also been made in aerobic respiration. And you must be able to link those two things together.